I'm Sean Wendell, the founder and managing principal of ERP Advisors Group, and we're a boutique consulting firm that helps companies, nonprofits, government agencies with their ERP issues. So I'd like to tell you very simply what ERP is and what it stands for. So ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning, which is basically software that helps enterprises, whether it's nonprofits or for-profit companies, public, private, or even government agencies to figure out what resources they have and help to plan with the resources. So that includes looking across the entire spectrum of all of the business processes that an organization runs to do what they're in business or what their mission is all about. So I'd like to tell you how an organization uses an ERP. It kind of comes back to this model of an organization where we have business processes that are used in conjunction with each other to produce some product at the end of the day that the organization gets paid for or gets funding for or is held by regulations to deliver. So how an organization uses an ERP is really to automate these processes and then also to get data about these processes so that it can really understand what's happening. Like, see, that's the thing about ERP is you get these kind of esoterical discussions. You can't do that. You really just have to say, look, this is what our business does. And here is how an ERP can help with that. And that's what an ERP is going to do. So, for instance, if we have a lot of invoicing problems and we have invoicing that's a lot of invoicing that we're doing, maybe it's a thousand or ten thousand or even hundreds of thousands of invoices per month that we need to get out. If we identify that that process isn't working very well, it could cost us a lot of money. We could be sending out inaccurate data and our customers can get very upset about that. So if we identify that as an area that could be improved, let's plug in a piece of software to help automate that. And then we can look across the other parts of the business and do the same thing to say, man, we are just, it's taken us forever to pay our vendors because we have all these invoices that go throughout the whole organization and we don't know where they're at to even approve them. Let's automate that process. Let's automate the employee life cycle. So looking across from an employee being hired all the way to performance management and payroll, let's automate that process too. Now where the ERP really comes in, and this is really the elegance and the simplicity of it, and that's it, is we want to automate this process, that process, that process. Now let's get software to do that. And it would be great if we could get one app that could do all of it because then we'd have one throat to choke if there's a problem. We don't have data problems because one system says a customer is different than another system. So if we can get one app to do that, that's what our goal is. That's what we're really trying to shoot for. So we've ERP Advisor has changed this concept of ERP being one big master system and it's more of a philosophical approach to how we help an organization to fill its pain points and risk areas to get those solved, as well as bring data and process automation across the entire business. So let me tell you why an ERP is important. And it's basically because you can get disparate islands of information throughout the business. So maybe you have really good sales data, right? And then you have accounting data. Well, what happens in between there? What, what happens when we make a good sale and yet we're not invoicing what we thought we could? You might have some manual processes to do all this. I know you do. You have to. But what if we had systems in place that could better understand, help us better understand what's happening in those areas, as well as help us automate those processes so that things got done faster and better? So you kind of look at process automation. You look at data management. Those are things that an ERP can really help with. But then if you look across doing this whole concept of ERP as a philosophy, not as a software solution, but as a philosophy, and that's baked into ERP Advisors Group's methodology, is we look across the entire business to say, where can software be plugged in here to give you the ability to really understand what's happening in all these different facets of your organization 
where you didn't before. Without that, you're kind of flying blind. A great question to ask yourself is, how do you know if you need a new ERP? And let me start by saying, if you don't need it, don't buy it. It's very complex, it's very risky, very expensive, and if you're not gonna get benefit from it, don't do it. No matter what people, salespeople especially, will say, you've got to be certain. So how can you be certain on if you need a new ERP? I'm gonna show you a trick, and it's really this simple. Draw a map like this for your business. It can even be higher level if you want to, or put together a map like this for your nonprofit. And take a look at your processes and where you have real, no kidding, pain. So if in inventory, you don't understand what's happening with your inventory locations, your warehouses, chances are that maybe you had a smaller inventory or warehouse at some point, your inventory just amount was smaller, then you grew and got bigger, and you have more warehouses and more branches and more locations, and now all of a sudden you have 20, 30, 40, 100, hundreds of locations, and you're not sure what's in those different areas. Now you probably have some software that manages it, but maybe that's not accurate. Maybe it's hard for your warehouse people to use. So you have a lot of risk and a lot of pain here. Like that's what you wanna look for is risk and pain. And let's say your only problem is an inventory. Well, maybe you can get a new inventory system only. And you don't need to replace the whole thing. So what we really wanna do is focus on where is the business benefit from making changes with software and not retraining people or trying to change out technology just to change it out. But for real, where is the pain and can it be solved with software? And that's how you need to go about changing your ERP and knowing that it's gonna be of value to you. Here's what you need to know if you're selecting a new ERP. First thing is, don't do it unless you have to. And I really mean that. These are complex processes, they're, they're costly, they're risky, there's a lot of change that goes out throughout the organization. So just make sure you really need it. Make sure you look at your business, make sure you really understand where the pains are and that new software can solve it. That's the first thing. Then when you start getting into your selection process, you drive the process don't let the software salespeople do it. Tell them exactly what you want to see in the application, exactly what you need, and have them show it to you exactly as you need to see it to be able to differentiate between the applications. Then when you get into negotiations, there's some leeway. You know, Take a look at all of the terms, all of the conditions, all of the pricing, everything, and know that it's a, a sales deal. You're buying software. So, Come up with what you need, make it mutually beneficial on both sides, but there is some leeway there and take a look at all of the, the conditions, especially around uh, rate caps and things that happen into the future that you might not be aware of. The last thing to do as part of the selection is really get to know the people that are doing your implementation. Be willing to bet your job in some instances on those people because you may be doing that. So really get to know who these people are. Know that you're gonna have a trusting relationship as best as you can, right? Get cell phone numbers. Really know the executives that are gonna be the ones that you can call if there's any problem. Make sure you get that line in with those people and you're gonna do great through the implementation with those in order.